Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. My name is Jolie and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist from the PIG Lab. Now in this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of light. I've included this question in the handout which you can download for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get started. Now Anita had three different materials, namely frosted glass, clear plastic and cardboard of the same thickness. Now she then shines a torch at the three materials and then she's using a light sensor connected to a data logger to record the amount of light that passed through. So she then recorded her readings on a graph and we are required to find out which one of the following graphs is the one that is recorded by Anita. So let's take a look at the three materials. We have three materials, frosted glass, clear plastic, cardboard. What can you tell me about the transparency of frosted glass? We can say that frosted glass is translucent. What about clear plastic? Clear plastic is transparent. And finally, cardboard is opaque. So what we are required to do is to find out which one of these graphs clearly shows how much or what is the amount of light that can pass through each of these objects. So let's arrange them in order. I'm going to arrange the objects accordingly from the one that allows the most light to pass through to the one that allows the least light to pass through. So let's go in order. Now, out of the three materials, the translucent, transparent, and opaque material, which one will allow the most light to pass through? It would actually be the clear plastic, which is transparent. So the clear plastic will be on the left end of the arrow. Okay, and then now what is the second object or what is the object that would allow some light to pass through? It would be the translucent materials. In this case, it's the frosted glass. And then finally, which objects allows no light to pass through? That is our cardboard opaque. So that means for clear plastic, I should see that it allows the most light to pass through. For cardboard, I should see that it allows no light to pass through, zero light. So let's take a look at the options available here. Now for option one, we can see that clear plastic as time passes, so over here is recording against time. So as time increases or as time passes, the clear plastic allows the most light to pass through and the cardboard would allow zero light to pass through, while the frosted glass allows some light to pass through. Is this what we discussed earlier? Yes. So option one is a possible answer. Now what about option two? Option two says, as time passes, the clear plastic would not allow any light to pass through. Zero light will pass through clear plastic. Is that true? No. Over here, the clear plastic should be the one that allows the most light to pass through. So number two would not be the correct answer. Now what about option three? Now for option three, this is where students struggle to, to understand the question and most of them actually pick option three. So what is option three trying to tell you? It's trying to say, okay, let's focus on just cardboard. So what they're trying to tell you is that as time passes, the cardboard would actually allow more and more and more light to pass through because they're telling you that as time increases, the amount of light that passed through the cardboard would also increase. Now, do you think that is possible? Have you ever seen a piece of cardboard that you leave on the table and as time passes, it will allow more and more and more light to pass through? No, because if it's an opaque material, it will remain as an opaque material consistently and it will always allow no light to pass through, okay? The line should be constant. So it's the same for the other options. Even for frosted glass and clear plastic, they are telling you that as time passes or as time increases, the materials will allow more and more and more light to pass through. 
it will actually increase in transparency. Now that is definitely not correct. So this option is wrong. And it's the same thing for option four. For option four, they switch the materials around, but they are still telling you that as time passes, the materials will actually allow more and more and more light to pass through. That is not correct as well. So over here, what would be our correct answer? The only possible answer would be number one. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos we have made, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!